You're not the only one trying to get that job. You're not the only one who wants to go to the NBA. You're not the only one trying to go to the NFL. So whatever your competitor's doing, you got to be willing to do one more, 10 more, 100 more reps than them, going further, pushing harder. You got to outwork, outmaneuver, outsmart, and outgrind every single one of these people who come up against you. I got my mind on the facts, I'm a python crab What I like real fast, took a deal I have Everything I attack, everything that I lack Everything that I want and I see, matter of fact Cause I'm my own worst enemy The decisions you make every day actually matter When the alarm goes off in the morning, do you get up? Or do you hit the snooze and sleep more? When it's time to work out, do you get it done? Or make excuses to skip it? When you're supposed to do the work you know you need to do, do you do it? Or do you let it slide and regret it later? Every decision you make every single day matters. The easy choice makes life hard. The hard choice makes life easy. If you're gonna make it, you gotta be willing to work like hell because there's someone out there who wants your spot. You're not the only one trying to get that job. You're not the only one who wants to go to the NBA. You're not the only one trying to go to the NFL. So whatever your competitor's doing, you gotta be willing to do one more, 10 more, 100 more reps than them, going further, pushing harder. You gotta outwork, outmaneuver, outsmart, and outgrind every single one of these people who come up against you. You become relentless. You decide within yourself that you won't stop for anything and you become laser focused on that goal on that dream on that mission anything that doesn't support the direction of where you're trying to get to you reject it remove it from your field of vision what you're striving for is too valuable to allow petty insignificant distractions to pull you off course because the more you can narrow your focus into that thing you want the more you'll find ways of succeeding you'll find new breakthroughs new methods of executing new ways of refining your craft and all the average motherfuckers won't understand why you're so driven why you're so obsessed why you can't take breaks why you can't go party with them they'll never understand it because they don't have what it takes to create greatness greatness isn't a one-off event greatness is a lifestyle you have to work for it every single day of your life and never stop never quit when you're faced with a tough decision, ask yourself, what would the best version of me do right now? The best version of you is the one who is disciplined, focused, relentless. They're the one who never gives up on their dreams. Even when things are tough, even when everything in you is telling you to stop, they're the one who is willing to sacrifice everything in order to achieve their goals. You have to have the mentality of an unstoppable machine, a machine that will never accept anything less than success. It's that mentality that says to the world, you've got to take my life before you can ever take my drive. That mentality that says, I will go through any level of pain, suffering, discomfort for as long as it takes. I'll do whatever it takes in order to succeed. I will not stop no matter what. You want to make your dreams a reality you want to rise above the sea of mediocrity that drowns most people's ambitions well you better be ready to put in the kind of work that makes sweat pour muscles ache and your mind scream for mercy it's not about half-assing it it's about going all in when you decide to work like hell you're not just signing up for the easy days. You're signing up for the grind, the late nights, and the early mornings. You're signing up for the sh that separates the winners from the whiners. So lace up them boots, tighten that grip, and charge into the battlefield of life like a relentless f***ing warrior. Because success doesn't give a sh about excuses or half measures. It rewards the ones who say, I will conquer this sh no matter what. You don't just dip your toes in. You dive in head first and let that dream consume you like a fucking wildfire. You gotta eat it, breathe it, and sleep with that shit on your mind. Your competitors, they're sleeping while you're working. They're partying while you're grinding. They're making excuses while you're making progress, making moves, and making shit happen. 
It's not enough to just want it. You've got to be so obsessed, so possessed by your dream that it becomes a part of your DNA. It's in your every thought, your every action, your every heartbeat. You got to be willing to hustle harder, push further, and endure more pain than anyone else in the game. The dream has got to own you. And you got to be willing to give it everything you fucking got. And even more. If you keep going every single day and don't stop, your competition will fall off. These other people aren't cut like you. You're cut from a different cloth. They take days off. They get tired. They get weak. They get lazy. But you, no. You don't allow that. You grind every day of your life, putting one foot in front of the other. You do that, and I promise you, you'll be lapping all of these people. While other folks are out there having a good time, partying, doing fun things, you got to dig deep and summon the strength of character that's going to set you apart. You got to be so locked in that nothing can tempt you out of executing, allowing you to concentrate, to read, to digest information. So you got to be able at any moment to sacrifice what you are for what you will become. You have to give it everything you got. No more TV, no more parties, no more playing. What you need to be doing is studying. What you need to be doing is training. What you need to be doing is making yourself better. When you look at your competition, you don't see obstacles. You see opportunities to prove that you're the baddest motherfucker in the arena. You're not here to participate, you're here to dominate. If you want to rise above the rest, if you want to stand on top of that fucking mountain, you got to let that dream consume you, control you, and drive you to outwork, out hustle, and out fucking grind everyone who dares to challenge your throne. Don't even use the word commit. Don't even think about the word discipline. Just do the thing every single day, whether you feel like it or not. Your only commitment is to the activity, not to the grand scheme, not to the big picture, not to the implications of what it is that you're doing. It's to do the thing. Habits are the building blocks of our lives. Not the goals or the grand schemes or the vision or the big idea. It's what you can do every single day that matters more than anything. Develop good habits that will carry you through to having a very successful life. There are two types of people in the world. There are those who fight the uncomfortable and those who can face the uncomfortable. What makes you comfortable can ruin you. And what makes you uncomfortable is the only way to grow. Nothing great comes from a position of comfort. Safety, comfort zones are dead zones. You have to continue to push yourself. Yes, we tired. Yes, we're hungry. Yes, the mind is saying give up. Yes, it's saying quit. But we cannot quit because we realize we have not reached the goal yet. This is not what I dreamed about. This is not what I said I was going to do. This is not what it looks like. I got to squeeze. And then once we get past that place, we become comfortable with being uncomfortable. We no longer thrive to be in the comfort zone. Nothing worthwhile is easy to get. And if you could get used to being uncomfortable, your limits are non-existent. You're either moving forward or standing still. The choice is yours. Hesitation allows the moment to pass, the opportunity to be lost, the enemy to get the upper hand. Hesitation defeats us, so we must defeat it. To win, all you have to do is overcome that moment, the waiting. And to do that, all you have to do is go, move, take the action, get out of bed, get your feet on the ground, step forward. Do not wait. Go forward and win. I will make every day, every minute, every second, I will make it all count. Get after it and you will become the person you want to be. And you become that person through one small decision at a time. I want to win so bad. My hunger and appetite for success is intimidating. It scares the shit out of people. And people around me say, slow down. Stop. You're doing too much. Your appetite is too big. I can't help myself. I want to win. You have to be relentless. 
You have to never let off the gas, never stop, never quit. Never allow anyone to talk you out of the dream, the vision, and ideas that God has sent you. Everybody laughed at me. Everybody was looking at me like, man, you just gonna leave your city to go seek a dream and seek something that you're passionate about? Absolutely, absolutely. Do what you have to do. You gotta grind and hustle and get out of your familiar space and walk boldly into the unfamiliar so that blessings and opportunities can present itself. If it's a game of survival, we gonna get from where we are to where we try to be. We all wanna be a beast, but do you know what a beast is? A beast is someone who can go through hell and be grateful that their legs are working. A beast is someone who's lost everything but is grateful for the opportunity to get everything back and get even more. A beast is someone who can hit rock bottom and can say, Roger that. I'm gonna harness this sh It is only up from here. I'm gonna come back even stronger.